40 years you pack into just maybe 10 minutes or 5 minutes i was working in dcm which at the time was the fourth largest company in india and uh, uh, we were working the digital products division a very dear friend arjun arjun malhotra and i used to talk many times about why don't we go step out and do this ourselves we couldn't put together all the money or get all the approvals so we uh try to do this with the government so we approached the up government they were happy to do this and that's how it all started we thought that you know microsoft based systems have a very very long way to go that was at the very beginning when you go back 40 years there at the time when 8 bit mac processors were just about coming up we are referring to a period when ibm pcs had not not even been conceived okay and uh, this is the dates of apple and apple and hcl were born more or less on the same time they were founded in 76 so were we their shipments were 78 so was ours and other than us there was no one in modern computing IBM was at the time in mainframes and probably a couple of Japanese companies. And today 40 years later there is still Apple went up and down but still there and uh, HCL is still there. But that's pretty much it. The rest came and went. <laughs> we did you know we didn't go into anything saying that these are the rules we did whatever was the right set of rules at that time frame now we are 7.2 billion dollars you know 6.2 which is global and a billion or so in india it still belongs to the people who form it you know they actually make what it seal is today they made what it seal was at that time and really took it you know never afraid uh dream big and take falls on the stride you know when you dream you should be ready to fail you know when you dream the money is going to show up sometime <laughs> and it just keeps comes in the morning and then well the evening comes and then there is one more dream to go to the corporation has cut its executive cadre which is very strong technical cadre which is unquestionably the best in the world if you go to any hcl lab you'll find the leaders there and the people who join you know join pretty much teams and hcl is made of many many teams we have 110000 employees time is a more important element and uh, the world is full of opportunities it's in front of you so don't be afraid you know you are much stronger now you know risk taking ability as one element with this time if you if you're going to discuss things over one year and then take a decision by then the opportunity would have gone okay we never let that happen before we went on i think it's made up of some superb experiences we launched the first uh 8 bit computer system in the world and first by itself and it was around the time when apple introduced apple 2 which was a card actually at the time our big milestones were i suppose the computerization project which we undertook in 1981 82 in the time frame then nit which began it's a uh, to conceive of computer education as a business by itself it rode 
on the dreams of many middle class people who form the IT industry today. And uh, somewhere in the early 90s, when we helped build the National Stock Exchange and change the face of capital market of India altogether, you know, and then the entire dot com, we actually didn't go into the dot com way, but we knew that internet was going to be there forever. And our whole sense of partnerships globally, starting with Hewlett Packard, then Perro Systems, then Deluxe, then Deutsche. One after another, we embrace partnerships across the world. Some events, you know, which were highly risky, but played out well. Okay. One distinctly is that I put my head into it when we took up this project of assisting the National Stock Exchange to come about. That is a very high, very high risk decision. Because, you know, at the instance of the then Finance Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, Dr. Patil, who was the Managing Director of National Stock Exchange, suddenly told us that we won the contract and we had an Israeli uh, partner at the time, Gilad, and uh, put me in front of 100 pressmen in Bombay. And I wasn't sure what time frame by which we have to implement it. He said, we have chosen HCL and, it's, and we won against at and So here is HCL, a small company, there is at and against whom we won. And uh, he said that's because the main, they asked, what, what is the main reason? Their partner company also is a very small Israeli company. They said that but they are Indian, they will be here. And as history has it, AT&T did leave India at the time, and Etsil did stay at this time. And at the crowning glory, he said, we will be starting trading on Muhorat Day, on Diwali, a year later. And I had not seen any plans to get to <laughs> trading on Mohorat Day on Diwali. And, um, well, it did happen. And I was looking up in the sky to say that, I hope the trading has started now. It was seven or eight o'clock in the evening and the trading did start. Very exciting moment. I work with many young people you know, in the chairman's office, there are many people who are in their 20s. And I've seen them absolutely unafraid. The people are the same. It is just that when they take their attitude, you know, nothing seems to be small. And uh, when these people just come across and talk to everybody, to them, everyone is equal. And all opportunities should be addressed, but well measured. So some glimpse of these, when I see, I feel very happy about it. There is one part of what we do I like, it's Hill Foundation. And uh, I've seen young executives of it's Hill. There are in all about 200 of them working uh, in the villages north of Lucknow, in district Hardoi, uh, again, displaying the same set of values, totally driven by courage, fearless. I can't think that area which is as dangerous as that. 23, 24 year old girls going up and you know, working around at 8 in the evening or 9 o'clock at night, I feel afraid sometimes. See, finally, no business can be just 
be an Indian businessman. We have re-entered the business of talent and health is the most adjacent combination of whatever we have done, we have added. But we have to just look at this long ahead and don't look upon it as an Indian business. There is no business if anyone looks upon it as Indian business is going to survive. In a longer run, the global companies will dominate. So have that mindset. But any long term is made of many tomorrows.